Dashboards offer a convenient means to gain insights into your projects, providing quick access to statistical and analytical data. You have the flexibility to create multiple dashboards, each tailored with different widgets to suit your specific needs. Additionally, you can mark any dashboard as a favorite by clicking the star icon next to its name, ensuring easy access as it moves to the top of your list of dashboards. A dashboard can be kept private, visible only to you, or made public for your entire team to utilize. To create a new dashboard, click Create Dashboard. Then, provide a title and a brief description for your dashboard. Specify its visibility, private or public, and select the projects you wish the dashboard to be based on. You can choose to gather data from all projects or select specific projects. If a dashboard is made public, each user will only see data related to projects they have access to. Click Create to finalize. Once configured, you can edit your dashboard's parameters via the Settings button. When you're ready to start adding widgets, click Add Widget. Widgets are categorized by an entity the widget focuses on and by type. Under Entities, you'll find widgets related to specific entities such as test cases, test runs, test results, defects, requirements, custom fields, and QQL. The type grouping includes different widget types, single value, timed value, distribution charts, time series, and table. Let's explore the widgets available using some widgets from the by type category. The single value chart is a type of widget that presents a chart displaying a singular value, offering insight into the current state of the entity. It effectively addresses the question, how many test runs do we currently have? To add a widget of this type, select it, and it will appear on your dashboard. Afterward, you can click the gear button to customize settings, such as the benchmark time period or the number of projects displayed. The timed value chart is a widget type that showcases the cumulative sum of events occurring to a particular entity over time. It answers questions like, how many artifacts were created within a day, week, or month? Similarly to the single value type, you can select a widget from this category, and it will be displayed on your dashboard. Use the gear button to adjust settings, such as the type of event, when the event was created, completed, or aborted, and the time range. The distribution chart is a widget that illustrates the current distribution of values for test case properties or of the custom field's values within your workspace. It supports custom field data types that have a limited data range, single choice and multi-choice select lists, radio buttons, and checkboxes. Select a widget of this type and it will be added into your dashboard. Click the gear button to modify its appearance, choosing between a donut graph or a bar graph and adjust the widget's properties. Additionally, you can expand the widget to full screen. The time series chart is a widget type that tracks changes for a specific entity over a selected period, offering insights into trends over time. Select a widget from this category to display it on your dashboard. Utilize the gear button to customize settings such as the dimension and period. If you uncheck the show total option, separate lines will be displayed for each project in the graph. With the table, case query language widget, you can leverage advanced query searches and pin frequently used or preferred queries to your dashboards to facilitate quicker and more comprehensive monitoring of testing activities. This widget presents data in a table format based on your saved queries with an option to display select columns and fields. You can expand the widget to view additional rows or click See All to access the query directly for more detailed information. Additionally, you can create multiple widgets for the same query, each with different fields, allowing for easy comparison. Please note that once this widget type is created, you can modify your widget configuration whenever necessary, as well as edit the original query. If changes are made to the original query and the new results don't align with your widget configuration, you will be prompted to adjust the configuration to display the updated results.
users with limited permissions will only see query information that aligns with their allowed access levels. By selecting and configuring widgets of these types, you can tailor your dashboard to effectively visualize and analyze data pertinent to your projects. You can share your dashboard with individuals who need to track project progress, even if they're not members of your case account, by generating a public link. Click Share Dashboard, toggle on the report link, and copy the link to share. You can disable the link at any time to revoke access. Click Done after making your selection. Note that dashboards are available with startup, business, and enterprise subscriptions, while the QQL widget is available for business and enterprise subscribers. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.